Ever notice how awkward and sudden the romance was between Batman and Catwoman in the Batman? Well, it was intended so they can make Robert Pattinson far more relatable. Cause that's how I'd be around Zoe Kravitz, you know what I mean? In a serious note, it was intended because it makes sense for both of these characters. In Batman's case, he strays away from having any sense of emotional intimacy with anyone, even with his childhood butler. He just uses that as a coping mechanism by shutting himself down so he doesn't feel that pain when others eventually leave him. But still, no matter how far he detaches himself from humanity, he is still human. He'll still get attached no matter how far he shuts himself down. In Selena's case, she seems to be sort of the opposite by being far more social and does allow for a sense of an emotional and physical intimacy, especially with her roommate, who she, who she seems to be very close with. So that's why she uses her physical intimacy at, to assert herself in, in this relationship she has with Batman, because she uses that as as a manipulative tactic as a power move so she could get help from him to find her roommate which is a smart play really because she knows that batman hasn't had anything in a long time but it really isn't till the end of the film where there's an inkling of an actual romance between the two when selena was about to ditch gotham because she's smart a part of her wants to bring batman with her and ditch gotham for good she's grown an attachment toward him and so has he no matter how far their journey has been they both have had the same quest but they've had different ways of executing it which makes for this dynamic to be very interesting and awkward and sudden but also making it work overall